Tanisha's story is one of going from grass to grace. And no, the majority element in this story is not luck, but sheer hard work and hustle as an artist. Even though we seem to hear less of her lately, then during her days with Warner Brothers, her consistent efforts to push solid music to her fans do not go unnoticed. She grew up in New Bedford, Massachusetts, and she lived mostly with her mother and brother since her father died just nine months after her birth. However, her mother was a huge influence in her life and music. Tanisha's mom could relate deeply to the lyrics of the sad R&B songs she played, as she cried a lot while listening to them. Tanisha saw the power of emotion in music and decided to fuse the experience into her work. At 14, she met Scotty G, an ex-member of the hip-hop band Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, who agreed to help her career. Tanisha joined a pop girl group in LA called Girls Society with three other ladies. After releasing one single, they disbanded. She decided to start making demos and eventually got signed by the Warner Brothers. Soon after, she dropped mini hits that went on to top the charts in Japan. I Wish You Loved Me was released on iTunes in September 2007 and went on to hit number 25 on Japan's Hot 100. And this was the beginning of a flourishing career. Around 2009, she announced that she would be leaving Warner Brothers without any explanation. This didn't slow her down. She went on to create her second album, and one of the songs, Love Hurts, made it to number one on the Japan Hot 100 on her birthday in 2010. Shortly after, Tanisha was dropped by Warner's Japan, she also fired her manager, Tyrell Bing, who controlled her entire career and cut a 360 deal behind her back with Warner's Japan. This caused Tanisha to lose everything she had worked for. However, Tanisha started releasing a couple of songs again, but this time on YouTube. She also released her debut project after a while called Sleeping Alone in 2017 under her indie label, Sanai. Now, she's growing her fan base more silently, and it is an incredible sight to watch. The most notable of her recent activities is choosing to release her album as an entire body of work and not follow the trends of singles released many new age artists do. And many of her fans find that intriguing. She sure is on her way to making a name for herself again.